Hey, y'all, it's your queen, Scarlet, coming through right quick, right fast with some musical messages. And today's musical messages are coming through and from your boy, your man, your guy, Thundercats. And the song is Them Changes. Nobody move, there's blood on the floor. And I can't find my heart. Where did it go? Did I leave it in the cold? Please give it back, cause it's not a yours to take. Yeah, ma'am. So we doing cover art decoding. We are doing to the left of us. A card representing the divine messages coming through from Thundercat, whose government name is Stephen Lee Bruna. Yes, we are getting the divine messages from his spiritual self and his human self through this song by way of that card over there to the left and to the right of us. We have a card representing the overall divine messages through him, through this song. So that be his divine realm, my divine realm, yo divine realm, the divine realm, he wants I'm Bo, I'm Wombo, you Wombo, he, she, we, Wombo. Y'all got it. Shout out to Patrick Starr. And with that being said, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get in to first things first. I'm the realest. No, Iggy Azalea. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Just a little silly. In that hoop. We have some jewels here, and I want to go ahead and square them out the way. I was moved to include some jewels here, which we have pearls and carnelian stone bracelets here. So we're working with the colors red and white, and we got some hues of gray and orange with that being said. So, we're working with Root Chakra and also some Soul Star Chakra. And Soul Star Chakra may be new to many of you, but it is basically an etheric <laughs> crown chakra. And how can the crown chakra get any more etheric? Well, child, my guess is... Many of you have already been finding that out and you're about to find it out even more. So, your Soul Chakra is an extension, basically, or... Uh, the orbital space is that a word the orbiting resonating space of your higher self it is the threshold <laughs> and we're gonna hear that word again but it is the threshold between yourself and the divine realm <laughs> your higher self being that middleman which like i said resonates at that soul star chakra so if you've been going through a lot of things lately that have literally been trying your patience, trying your anger issues that you have been having to work through or have had to go through many cycles of working through. If it's been, you know, very triggering past couple of weeks, it's definitely because your divine realm has had you on a journey of realizing how far you've come. But on a whole nother level, it's kind of like been some final exam type stuff because people that's resonating with this song and that's resonating with this message, child, it's giving innovator, 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 trailblazer energy. And that's why it's been like this spiritual initiation process and some of y'all probably been looking for somebody to blame and it's really <laughs> blame your higher self because your higher self has been like look I'm ready to shine I'm ready to do everything that needs to be done I'm ready to give everything that was supposed to be have gave okay I'm just waiting on you boo so if you gonna make it discomforting for me then I'm gonna have to make it discomforting for you so you can snap on up out of it and come on over here with me come on over to the good side step into the good side ooh 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 gonna take a new ride ooh 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 yes okay yeah ma'am so these hues of gray and orange gray which can also be considered silver in certain cases but this tone of gray is greeting us with <laughs> the juxtaposition if you will to the orange you need to have fun need to have some new adventurous experiences needing to enjoy life needing to enjoy food needing to enjoy some healthy balanced substances okay <laughs> you know enjoy them in a balanced way but we need to have some fun we need to celebrate we need to get our lives and honestly, many of us are needing to do this creatively. Um, 
because I definitely do have loner energy and it's definitely some messages to balance that out and give yourself the opportunity to work with other people and engage with other people and create with other people make a party out of it so if you want to plan a paint and sip or a write and sip or a bounce energy bounce ideas off of each other and sip or go to an event of the sort go to an art gallery with some friends or go to a museum with some friends or go to a concert with some friends do something creative with some creative friends and let it flow from there you are definitely going to experience boy some fulfilling experience says from that that will allow you to create even more like bro it's like it's hard for me to even put in words because it's something that each of you is going to experience going to have to experience on an individual basis to have your individual experience and that is the word of the reading also individual individuality standing out being different being a unicorn being a mermaid being a phoenix being something that is so different and so mythical and so etheric and so out of the box that you f around <laughs> that you mess right around and change the world and have fun doing it in the process okay and with that being said child we are going to transition straight into the cover art that we have here and see y'all are extra special because i got two forms of cover art to work with here and the other ones i usually only have one form and this one i was moved to do the two okay okay we're gonna start off with the one that is in the upper left hand corner so we have what would be called artistically a lot of negative space in that particular imagery. And we have some ninjas. They even have opposing colors so we can actively see that they are on opposing sides. As it also looks like they are like trying to like shoulder bump into each other. They're trying to overtake each other and looks like they're at a bit of a stalemate. Hmm. And we also have red writing. So that's that reoccurrence of the color red there, affirming some root chakra work that we need to do. It is also confirming to me that it is by no mistake that I felt moved and drawn to use my Earth Warrior deck in this reading. So this is also letting me know that there are a multitude of ancestors and spirit guides and deities working behind the scenes on your behalf right now. Another thing that this is bringing to my attention is there has been um, a type of internal war. And I'm getting some Scorpio energy. I'm getting some Leo energy. I'm getting some Aries, Sagittarius energy. I think I'm also getting uh, Libra and Gemini and Aquarius. So, you know, don't get too hung up on the on the signs, but that's the energy I'm getting. Scorpio, the fire signs, and the air signs is what I'm getting here. <laughs> and I know it's no mistake about them air signs because we have ninjas here that have swords. And the sword suit definitely, and swords in general, represent and are symbols of the air signs because they are both symbols of communication. So, what I'm getting here is that there needs to be more internal communication and less internal criticism because your inner critic keeps raging war on yourself <laughs> your inner critic is causing dissension between your many internal dimensions and what needs to happen is that your internal self it needs to cease war and everything needs to come together um and I will get into more of what is causing that when I get into the cards. Because I don't want to get, I don't want to spend too much time on anything and make this video long as crap. Because I'm going to end up doing some different parts and deep dives and all of that good stuff. But yeah, so whenever I see a photo here that has uh, a great amount of negative space, I, all, I usually tend to get this uh, message and feeling of being consumed by negative space, being consumed by negative negativity in a literal sense. So for some of you, it's the people that you've been around and I literally had to journal myself this morning. And it's not necessarily that those people need to be iced out or cut off or anything of that nature. It's just life is life and over in their life. You know what I'm saying? And it is a contrast to what should actually be going on in your life and more than likely what is actually going on in your life. But 
if the multitude of you are empathic beings, very empathic beings, like I feel y'all are, and I'm also getting light worker um, energy here, it is very easy for you to become consumed by other people's lives and their emotions, especially if you've had a parent or parents that made you responsible for their emotions, that trauma unloaded on you, like, you know, always emotionally unloaded on you and was always like using you as their diary or using you as a doormat or whatever, making you the emotional parent in the relationship makes you more prone to taking on other people's issues as your own. So that could also be a part of the anxiety and the triggers and the angst that's been going on lately and like I said it's not necessarily that you need to ice those people off or completely cut them off it just means that there needs to be more balance uh and more proportioning of the time that you spend with them and also you need to do some like purging you need to journal so that you can get a clear view of what's going on in your life and what's going on in their life and understanding that you don't have to take that on as your thing that like it's this mindless identifying with other people's stuff and it's probably because what some of your friends and family or whatever are going through right now you've been through and so it's very easy for you to get wrapped up in the trigger of that. Like that's what it is. Like you, you've been triggered and spirit is like just trying to nudge you right now. Like, hey, 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 don't get caught up in that because the purpose of us bringing this to your attention is for you to one, establish more gratitude for where you are in life and also remember that you deserve more because you have more coming through. So they want your mindset to match your manifestation. <laughs> so some of you are really needing to learn when to put your phone on do not disturb and when to say, okay, hey, you know, I've, this has been great. I've sat over here with you and counseled you for the multitude. I gotta go now. I got some things to tend to myself. I gotta, you know, tend to my own self care. I hope that, you know, you work it out. I'll be through here another day, you know? Some of you gotta learn how to set boundaries and how to, like I said, proportion your energy, budget your energy more. Because what's coming through for you is a multitude of opportunity and you are going to need to really embrace that to the fullest and not neglect your loved ones but at the same time really allow yourself to be successful you know because you've given so much to so many other people in your life and if the people that are still currently in your life can't understand that this is your moment and support you and allow you to be an inspiration to them then honestly it's not worth it and it doesn't necessarily mean that they are people who should be demonized it's just about you realizing what should be worth it to you because there are definitely a lot of messages about worth and values in this reading okay Let's also go ahead and transition into the other piece of cover art that we have, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And here we have like an outline or a silhouette of, we have a silhouette of Thundercat and we have white writing here. Looks as though he's walking through a field or some type of wooded area through the early morning dawn of its Oh, we got a lot of sepia color right here, which could also be considered a tone of yellow. It could also be considered a tone of brown. And then we have, like I said, these sprouts of white, bright light, and accompaniment with the white writing, okay? And this card is very much so giving me, I said card. <laughs> this cover art is giving me the energy and the imagery of the Eight of Cups card in the traditional Rider Waite tarot where there is a person it looks like next to a pond walking about to walk through the woods it's like they're walking away from an old life and walking into a new walking away from one element walking into a new walking away from this set of cups and ultimately having faith about what's to come on the other side of those trees and this is about like I said 
before, but extending it, separating your identity from things that are not for you. Because there's an old life that you used to live and lately perhaps you've been having a lot of like nostalgic feelings or you've been missing certain elements of that life or you've been missing certain people from that life and you've been like kind of bittersweetly reminiscing on those days. And it's a need for you to accept and really allow yourself to grieve that there's nothing left for you there. There's nothing more that you can do with that other than reminisce on it and continue to reinstate the wisdom from it. And, you know, take away the greatness from, you know, the fun. (laughs) So you have some knowledge of what you like to do for fun. But also, some of you are having to accept that what you used to like to do for fun and how you used to like to, some of you, how you used to express anger, you no longer have an attachment to that. And perhaps there's an internal war going on because you, you, you like getting wrapped up in how you think you're supposed to feel about all of this when in actuality, it is what it is. <laughs> how you feel about it is totally warranted. But what needs to be true and what needs to be a focus is worth and value. What is really worth it and valuable to you now outside of what you think people expect out of you because again individuality 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 and with that yellowish tone being present we got some solar plexus things going on and i'm gonna let that segue us perfectly into the card to the left and in the process we're gonna also cross that pearl bracelet over into this evaluation of this card which is representative of the divine messages and intents from thundercats aka stephen lee bruna his spiritual self and his human self through this song them changes and the card that we have here is the three of pentacles so real quick because i'm gonna bring it in and get it out the way in correlation with the coins that we have there that could also be seen as marbles, pearls, stones, things of that nature, forms of earth. <laughs> um, and pearls are representative of rebirth and they're representative of transmutation, transmuting energy and situations as a clam transmutes a parasite into something as beautiful as that pearl and as valuable as well. So this is about transmuting energy and transmuting our situations as well as transmuting our cells okay so all of that reminiscing and reflection and realization of being consumed by other people's energy and other people's situations and other people's problems spirit is trying to present to you that you also have the option of being consumed hugged and caressed by success Great energy, great experiences, great situations. And like I said, it's not to demonize your loved ones, but it's about being real about where you are, about where you want to be, and about where the people in your life are, and about what they are closer to and what they are far away from. And the truth of the matter is here is that there are some people that you value that are not in alignment with your values. They're not in alignment with where you are trying to go. And it doesn't mean you have to hate them. It doesn't mean that you have to be mean to them. It doesn't mean that you have to declare war. It just means, like I said before, that you're going to have to minimize the time that you spend around them. And you're going to have to minimize the amount of energy that you give to them. And... There are some other people in your life that you also value that are in alignment with your values and that are much closer to where you're trying to go and much closer to what you need and what you desire. And it's a need for you to transmute. (laughs) So just as 
you've been getting consumed by those other people's problems. You need to make an active effort to be consumed by the success that is going on in your other loved ones' lives. And you need to surround yourself by that. You need to study that. You need to find more people that are closer to where you're trying to go. More people that you can value that are in alignment with your values. Hmm? And so getting deeper into this three of pinnacle card, there was something that I posted recently about if you're not trying to share, you might not want to let starving and homeless people know that you eating and living good. And like I said, it's no slight. It's just they're functioning from a survival of the fittest mindset. So if you living in the wilderness and you got food and the folks that you in the wilderness with ain't got no food, they are going to do whatever they need to do in order to get a piece of what you got. And so you need to be around people that you can have exchanges with and not just be parasited off of. And also not even run the risk of them trying to take from you. And this is not to say that people who have material abundance or whatever, that they can't also run the potential of turning on you or whatever. But that's why the emphasis is on people that you can value that are in alignment with your values. So definitely a need to raise the sense of discernment so that you can know for yourself and be able to decode for yourself the difference between the different folks <laughs> and the different energies. And so that's what this Three of Pentacles card is uh, getting into as well. Looking up in inspiration, looking around in inspiration and understanding that there are people that are looking to you for inspiration, but there are some people that don't understand yet and haven't gotten to a place yet to be able to embrace inspiration. So all they are left with is jealousy. Okay, so make sure we're thinking about that. Some more elements of this, of this <laughs> Three of Pentacles card is alchemy, 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 creating, okay? And one of the highest forms of manifestation. And we're going to talk about that more when we get into the other card. And so I want to talk about the colors that we have here and also this triangle and the positioning of the coins. So we have pink, purple, and blue going on here. The tone of blue is ultimately indigo. So I already mentioned that about the third eye. You know, your sense of discernment, your intuition, and all of that. Um, but what this is getting at here is either you or some loved ones that you have. Uh, for some of you, maybe someone that you're in a relationship with. But there is some sexual fluidity going on here, some bisexuality going on here. So maybe you are bisexual or someone that you're friends with or someone that you're involved with, someone that you're related to, that you're really close to is bisexual. Um, but it seems as though you or them, whoever it is, is still in the realization part of it. And so it's been causing conflict in the relationships and also in the functionality of that individual, not acting and feeling and displaying yourself as your whole self because there's been a suppression or just a lack of clarity of that particular aspect of yourself. And I'm saying bisexuality, but this can also be uh, really any type of sexual or gender fluidity that involves the unison, integration, back and forth thing between the masculine and feminine. So whether it be genitalia or energy, <laughs> that's what it's giving. And <laughs> I... I feel weird about this, but I feel like I'm being uh, led to deliver this message as a form of confirmation that, uh, yeah, you got some you got some queer going on <laughs> and that's fine. That's OK. You've been taught, perhaps, to demonize that part of yourself, but it's actually exactly what you need. It's exactly who you're supposed to be. And if it's a loved one that is dealing with that, that form of awakening then it's more than likely the message is that it's meant for you to be an ally of the community. It's meant for you to be an advocate for the community. And what you do in the process and in that journey is going to bring about some magnificent change in the world. 
more of us coming from this three of pentacles um and not to mention we have some reoccurrences of the color brown which gives us the earth chakra so past life messages <laughs> and past life messages that we have coming through is that many of you need to do research on the great depression era and there's different reasons for many of you so for some of you it's about learning how to recycle resources how to create more resources natural resources that is basically um making it easier and more abundant to get food crops produce um herbs oils food yeah i said food um medicines also herbal medicines healing healers making things easier making natural resources easier to get um and those of you in that category you likely been met with a lot of like food scarcity like you've been coming across people who have been dealing with either food scarcity um transportation scarcity things of that nature and so that's presenting to you a purpose of helping people get easier access and more affordable access if not free access to healthy foods medicines healers whatever it is that they need and desire to make their life easier because the divine realm agrees with us when we say that life should not be this hard <laughs> and they are trying to ignite us so that they can clear out the human beings that have been making life unnecessarily hard and rectify and resolve the issues that those human beings created that have made life more harder than it has to be and some of you are needing to do research on the great depression era as it concerns domestic violence as it concerns um parent child uh, child abuse and as it concerns labor abuse workers abuse workforce abuse in the workforce abuse of power that's what's coming through there so some of you need to do research on the great depression era for those reasoning and for others of you it's for different reasonings and you may just have to do the research in order for your inner self to accumulate what it is that you needed that knowledge for and many of you are also needing to ask elders and have conversations with elders who grew up during the great depression or who were adults during the great depression and listen to their stories just for a sense of inspiration and a sense of hope and a new sense of resilience and understanding about life because that's going to like i say ignite hope in you to realize that people have gotten through worse and so you can get through whatever your worst is <laughs> and the information and hope and stories that they give you is going to help you not only help yourself but help other people along your journey and okay so final messages for the three of pentacles there definitely needs to be more commitment to self-care so if you know that you've been falling off or haven't been the best or could just need an upgrade in your hair, skin, and nails regimen, your workout regimen, detoxing. Many of you need a detox galore. And I'm talking about dietary as well. Y'all need to detox. Y'all need to detox from folks. And y'all need to detox from social media. And y'all need to detox as it concerns your diet. <laughs> Through detox, things are released. Things that you don't need are released. Free up space for movement and also for things to come in. With that being said as well, I got a message coming through for some people that there is a relationship or some relationships that you cut off because you know you needed to. Not necessarily because you wanted to, you just knew you needed to. And I'm hearing that you haven't thoroughly allowed yourself to grieve and a part of that is because you haven't thoroughly acknowledged that you have been in a grieving process from those relationships so definitely be gentle and kind with yourself and understand that that's also a reason why there needs to be an upgrade in the self-care of it all because you all have been grieving y'all have been grieving be nice to yourself be tender with yourself give yourself some hugs and kisses Okay. And love on yourself, sugar. Yeah. And baby, we're going to transition on into the divine messages from the divine realms of it all through Thundercat through this song, Them Changes. 
And we have from our Earth Warrior deck, the number 19, Chakana. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Time to cross the threshold. I told y'all that word was gonna come up again. Hey, Chakana, even though I don't really, I don't think I see one in the traditional sense in the imagery of this card. It is also a type of Incan cross that has um, what looks like steps. And I think it's representative of actual steps along the ridges of the cross. And it is also a symbol of the connection. Ah, much like I was just talking about this all star chakra. But it is a symbol of the connection and the integration, if you will, of the divine realm, the earth realm, and the spirit realm. Spirit meaning uh deceased people the undead if you will no the dead not the undead but the dead because <laughs> the undead would be a zombie <laughs> but you catch my drift and this is letting me know that we have a lot of ancestral presence going on and this is also letting me know that we have a lot of people here who have like psychic divine gift abilities if you will and i would also recommend that you all possibly get a clear quartz if you don't already have one but also get a blue gold stone because that is definitely good for helping with increasing and enhancing and improving psychic abilities and that's definitely something that you all need right now and something that you are going to need as you cross the threshold and in the book that comes with the earth warrior deck on the page for this card it talks about this card and this imagery representing this earth warrior <laughs> representing a type of evolution where there is no turning back so this is literally going back to all of the reflection that i've been talking about all of the reevaluating and reforming that i've been talking about and also the like initiation the testing all of that Everything that you've experienced up until the point of you making the final decision of committing has brought you up to a point of drastic and miraculous change, which ultimately comes with a lot of fear. But you know what they say, on the other side of fear is everything that you want and need and everything that you pray for, even if it's not exactly as you pray for it. <laughs> and that's exactly what this card is all about. Because it also talks about this being a particular change and a particular part of your journey that you have little to no control over. So it's kind of like you're being dragged and pushed and sometimes maybe even forced along a path that you are kind of resisting in a heavy sense of the term. And this is coming from your shadow self, ultimately trying to sabotage you. And for some people, this is also rooted in a pathology of elders in your family being jealous of their kids or being jealous of the youth, more than likely for having more rights or a greater sense of freedom overall than they were able to have when they were the youth, um, along with some other varying details but overall it's taught you to shrink yourself and condemn yourself and overly critique yourself that's why in the beginning of this reading it came up that your inner critic is raging war internally between you and all of your dimensions and all your different layers of selves <laughs> yeah it's your inner critic so you're definitely going to want to do some shadow work in order to really unpack where that is coming from so that you can get your inner critic under control and get your inner lover to be louder and even more bold in its display of love now let's get deeper into the imagery that we are working with here okay so instantly you see the burst of colors and we got an abundance of yellow we got that reoccurrence of blue we got both blue straight up blue and turquoise so trigger warning i'm not gonna lie we are dealing with some um sexual abuse family pathologies so some things to be unpacked there um abuse overall pathologies going on so a lot of things to be unpacked and healed there and also with all of that being said 
and accompaniment with the three of pentacles being present definitely that part of the message is resonating for you seek professional help seek professional therapy holistic healing you can also get many opinions and do your research on a uh, quote-unquote traditional level as well but definitely go on a journey of looking for a, a plethora of ways that you can heal your family pathology and how you can heal yourself from all of the trauma that you have experienced and if you've already you know been on that type of journey which I'm sure a lot of you have this is a need for you to just you know up the ante and seek knowledge from people much 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 more experienced than you and much more uh knowledgeable competent than you and put yourself in a student's role and the role of a mentee it's gonna be for the best of your benefit mind body and soul emphasis on mind body and soul because it's really a mental thing that is causing stagnancy in a lot of you all's lives right now and that has been domino affecting into manifest manifesting itself on a physical and spiritual level where you may feel like or you may have had a lot of delays in your journey as it concerns grasping hold to the things that you're trying to manifest and the things that you're working hard for and manifesting in your body as it concerns sickness so like if you consistently have mucus build up or you seem to always be sick or you have unexplainable body aches and things of that nature it's coming from undealt with trauma so that's why it's also an emphasis on combining holistic care with the quote unquote traditional care because you need a little bit of everything so there are benefits both ways just as there are risk both ways but this is going to be more to your benefit than anything and i feel like needless to say that's also why we have a representation of an elder in the imagery here this um elderly mature looking woman that we have presented here on the card so that is confirming and reaffirming the need to look to our elders look to people more experienced and more wise than we are and <laughs> you know i am not asleep to the fact that all elders ain't all that wise <laughs> some elders is old fools okay and if you tend to be surrounded by old fools more than elders, then the message is definitely lending towards going out of your way to seek actual elders that aren't old fools. <laughs> now, we have a reoccurrence of triangles in the imagery. A many, a many, a many, a many, a many triangles. If you played a shot game for how many triangles are present on this card, baby, we'd be passed out in the middle of somebody's street. <laughs> but this is confirming and reaffirming to me the messages of alchemy and also a need to observe, reflect, and research different forms of dynamics and structures. So this will be looking back at your own family structure, fantasizing and imagining and idealizing what you and how you would like your family structure to be or your work structure or your relationship structure, your relationship and dynamic structure with yourself. Because structure, dynamic, it works hand in hand with alchemy. The better the structure, i.e. also the foundation of the structure and dynamic. The greater the outcome of the alchemy. <laughs> and with that being observed, with the multitude of triangles as well, that means we also have a multitude of repetition of the number three, which is all about purpose. And we also got the number three on the three of pentacles. And we also have a triangle <laughs> on the three of pentacles. So three, 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 three. 
And that reminds me of a chant from the movie The Craft. <laughs> By the power of three times three, make them see, make them see. Now, granted, they were at points using that chant to curse, okay? How never we have an energy of transmutation up in here. And just about any and everything that can be used to curse can also be used to bless. <laughs> you see? Okay, so it's the affirmation that I like to use myself, how I transmuted the chant by the power of divine three, make me see it will be. And then whatever it is that you wanna put there. So by the power of divine three, make me see it will be all of my blessings overflowing to me. Okay, and I feel like that is exactly what the group of you all are needing right now. I ain't gonna lie, I probably needed it myself, but that's definitely the type of chant that this overall reading is giving and that it is presenting that we are needing because we need more belief in ourselves and we need more belief in our divine realm and in our multiple different selves, our human self, our spiritual self, our shadow self. <laughs> And this even rolls into titles, ourself as parents, ourself as individuals, ourself as children, ourselves as an employee, ourselves as a boss, ourselves as an entrepreneur, ourselves as artists, as creators, as a singer, a dancer, a writer, a director. Because while the majority of people in this group are big thinkers naturally, the divine realm is saying, baby, we need you to think even bigger. Like we are thinking small in comparison to how big we can think and how big we can actually go. Child, peep the affirmation on the journal in the background. Always remember you are braver than you believe. And like I said, this group is already naturally empowered, naturally resilient, naturally creative, naturally eclectic, unique, strikingly intelligent, strikingly creative, <laughs> strikingly observant, strikingly knowledgeable, strikingly psychic. This group is already naturally a lot of things. Now the divine realm wants us to get intentional about it and confident in it. Because when I say they literally have us on the path to changing the world, the world, Craig, the world. Not overnight, so don't freak out, but step by step. That's why the messages have come up as they have come up and it's so much reflection and it's so much to gain about the understanding of structure and dynamic and all of that and processes because it's a whole lot that we are meant to accomplish. <laughs> and so in order to make sure that not only you're doing it effectively, but also enjoying yourself in the process and having fun in the process and not taking yourself so serious, that's why it's so much emphasis on reflection, but in a good way, you know? and transmutation and being careful about where you give your energy and being careful about budgeting your energy and being honest with yourself and not being so critical of yourself because heavy is the head that wears the crown. To whom much is given, much is required, okay? And whatever other quote you can think of that has the general consensus of, baby, we got a lot of shit on our plate in this life. <laughs> more than you know the average and not necessarily calling everybody else average but us in particular that's resonating with this song and with this these here in particular messages we got way more on our plate than most and the divine realm knows that and they know that a lot of it has to do with sins of the father type elements and that the multitude of us are genuinely pure hearted, no matter you know what mistakes we made, this, that, and the third. So even though we got some heavy tasks on our hands, we're being rewarded throughout our processes because of who we are and who we have been. 
and also who we will be and the greatness that we are evoking and will evoke in the future, making drastic change in this hill world. Because we are predominantly the ones also that are making drastic changes in our own world, in our own personal lives, in our own relationships, in our own families. Many of the people that resonate with this song are the black sheep of their family. And we are the ones that have shooketh the table and got all the peoples shooketh. (laughs) And with that being said, there's a message here and a need to honestly do some snooping now remember i said that there are people that need to have conversations with the elders and their families and the elders that surround them and get information on the great depression and all of that Uh, you know i said for a multitude of reasons but i also said specifically on the great depression well of course there are some people like i said who are surrounded by old fools more so than actual elders and for you all in particular you're gonna have to kind of stick your neck out in an incognito type way and do some snooping go through the family photos go through any stashed obituaries go through any old paperwork that you find stashed somewhere that you know where the matriarchs of the family keep all of the paperwork and birth certificates and court papers and all the things of that nature all the stuff you know how the matriarchs of the family tend to keep all the paperwork and documentation stashed somewhere in the house there's a message here for some of y'all and that's why many of us also have uh strong psychic abilities because we have a natural nosiness whether we tap into it or not but we have a natural ability to be able to find things specifically things that people are trying to hide so it's a need for you to tap into that, okay? Learning the time and the place for everything. And it's a time and a place for y'all to do some snooping and be nosy. And child, I can't even tell you exactly what you're looking for. Some of you may know exactly what you're looking for based off me just saying that. But some of you, you're not going to know what you're looking for until you find it. Hmm. <laughs> and to wrap up these messages overall, let's talk about these birds, child. These birds. So... It's two birds here. And the bird to the left is representing ancestral presence. So these are ancestors that have been acting and that are predominantly acting right now on your behalf as spirit guides, guardian angels. They are working behind the scenes for you. And you probably have been seeing them in your sleep. You've probably been seeing feathers. You probably have been having um, interesting candle activity have you been uh, doing candle work you've been having interesting activity going on with your flame or maybe even the wax or maybe even both and that is confirmation of ancestral presence for some of you it is literally a grandmother that you lost a couple of years ago making herself present to you and trying to let you know that everything is okay that everything is going to be okay nothing is bad as it seems and that you got some really great things coming for you and she's also saying that she's so excited for you to embrace these blessings because not only do they know that you have worked for it and that you deserve it above all but she also knows that a part of it is because she chose you even before she was born even before her spirit was manifested into the child that became an adult and became your grandmother she chose you she chose your spirit to go along the path that you're going on to bring the blessings into the world that you are bringing and that you are going to bring but also to receive the blessings that you are going to receive and all of the blessings that you have received up until this point and beyond oh that is so beautiful that is so beautiful and with that being said the birdie on the right is representative of for some people trigger warning for some people it is a miscarried child or miscarried children so if you've been seeing birds around you a lot lately um specifically uh, like hummingbirds or very small birds baby birds and things of that nature that is confirmation that any child that you lost like a miscarriage even abortion or um, stillbirth or maybe passed away not very long like passed away as a baby or passed away as a child that's confirmation that 
those birds are representation. Those birds are manifestation of the spirit of those children of that child coming to greet you and coming to let you know, hello, I'm good. Everything is okay. Everything's going to be okay. You're doing a great job. You're on the right path. Everything is happening as it's supposed to be happening. And for others of you, you've been seeing birds or you've been seeing feathers or you've been seeing um, small children. And maybe these small children probably remind you of this person, but um, those birds and those children are representative of a friend. And for some of you, this friend may be somebody that you grew up with or somebody that you were an associate of growing up or you always kind of saw in passing. But when you got older, you learned that y'all are actually related in some way, like cousin, uh, maybe even uncle, but y'all are like close to the same age in, in some way. Or, or you find out that this person is actually your sibling. And for some of you, you may have always known that this person was your sibling, but y'all never got to spend time like that like maybe y'all have different mamas or different daddies and because of that genetic separation if you will or you know whatever issues happen in you know the relationships of your parents and all of that it led y'all to being separated throughout y'all's lives y'all didn't live together y'all didn't go to the same schools y'all probably didn't live in the same state or the same city and when y'all got older and got the option and got you know to be able to link up on your own Y'all finally did that, and maybe not too long after you ended up losing them, they ended up passing away. And the birds are representative of that person. Overall, for those of you that's resonating with this particular message, even if that particular scenario didn't fit to AT, the general consensus is the bird to the right. You've been seeing birds, you've been seeing small children that remind you of a loved one that was basically a kindred spirit somewhere where whether y'all were related to each other or not y'all had a very soulful and spiritual bond that goes beyond this earth realm something that you can't really explain and that is more than likely something that has been tugging on your heart and tugging on your spirit lately and that's probably a part of the reason why grief came up earlier in the reading as well because while certain people are dealing with the death of relationships Many of you that are resonating with this message, y'all have actually been dealing with actual grief, the actual grief of losing someone that you consider like a best friend to you, you know, whether y'all shared blood relation or not. They were like a best friend to you on a soul level. And that's really been tugging on your heart. And so your divine realm has been allowing them to come through to you in these different forms in order to lift your spirit and in order to remind you that time goes on and life goes on and that ultimately you did not lose them they just transitioned into a different form and so they want you to know that and grasp hold to that belief and function in it so that you do not feel so lonely oh y'all they really want you to release that feeling of loneliness and grasp hold to the presence of their spirit with you in every step of the way of your journey because they want you to not be paralyzed by this grief they want you to not be paralyzed by this happening they want to see you thrive they want to see you push forward on your journey and accomplish everything that you set out to accomplish and accomplish everything that you are supposed to accomplish they want you to do what you were put on this earth to do and what you know you want and need and are capable of doing and I, I don't have to go that deep into it but um the angel number that we have here which is the number 19 we have one and nine so one representing new beginnings individuality reaffirming all that I said about you know the new adventures and blessings and love and all of that coming in and the nine of course representing endings representing all of the things that you're cutting off the bad habits that you're breaking the separation of your life and your needs and your wants and your desires and your emotions and everything separating all of that from other people's so that also correlates with that number one individuality you put them both together and you got the number 10 which represents new beginnings all over again and also divine 
presence so deity presence ancestral presence spirit guide presence all of the spiritual presence and divine presence that you can get which you know like i said i don't have to stay too long on the angel number of it all because it's just confirming and reaffirming everything that i have already said and i am going to finish this reading off by letting y'all in on some of the text from the book that comes with the deck that this here earth warrior card came from come with me shakana number 19 time to cross the threshold a threshold appears bringing an ending so complete that it is no longer possible to return to what has been the light of the stars is your faithful guide into this new world as you trust in your divine connection deconstructed forms shall reshape themselves into relevant helpful and beautiful new ways of living thriving and expressing your true self Trust in your strangest ideas, in that which is different, inspired, or unconventional. This crossing is healing and furthers the activation of your divine potential. Mm -hmm. Divine potential. Changes foot. You won't feel in control of the process. Trust what is new, different, or exciting to you. Don't assume that unless all things happen easily, then you must be on the wrong path. You are on the correct path, even if the birth and pains to fulfill it are challenging. You are guided to reject societal norms about how you are supposed to live or what sorts of things you are supposed to value. Instead, trust your own values and believe in the truth that you feel within your own heart. In time, the world will be ready to recognize and benefit from your spiritual growth. The universe is helping you in all ways, including through correct timing. At the right moment, you will leave the past behind you and enter into the fullness of the present moment, opening up to the brightness of your future. Now, I wanted to include this excerpt because it's going to be heavily important to remember as you are reflecting on all of your past things of it all. But it's also going to be important as you are processing your approach to your future. Because with a whole bunch of new coming in... It definitely comes a whole bunch of new excitement, new fears, new nervousness. So this is something to help you in the process of processing, especially yeah. when we are reflecting and being concerned, if you will, about failures and or perceived failures. So here the excerpt says, it is often mistaken as a no from the universe, but it is really just saying there's a better way. There will be those that lead humanity into the new world and those that try to hold on to the old ways. You are a part of the spiritual spearhead piercing through established and unhealthy paradigms. Do not be disheartened by absence of support at first, nor by risk or the possibility that the birthing of your idea into the world may take a longer time than you wished. Do not be concerned if most do not yet understand where you are coming from or if resources are scarce at this time as other more recognized or conventional points of view are granted more support in the world. Have faith, because once the time has come for the alternative view to take root and grow, the success shall be swift and far-reaching. Persevere and keep your faith in the right outworks of all matters according to a higher plan. This is working in your favor, so don't resist it. This oracle comes with a divine promise. Your time shall come. Now, y'all know y'all really getting a treat because I'm going to let you in on the meditation of it all also. So don't tell nobody because everybody don't get this here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm just playing. And now who? Let me go ahead and recite the healing process to y'all. So y'all can take a screenshot of this. Y'all can come back through to it. I'm going to also leave a timestamp for it because I definitely feel like this is so helpful and will be so helpful and can help a multitude of people just in general so healing process and this is in direct correlation with the chicana card as well so healing process stand comfortably with your arms above your head reaching for the heavens gently guide your arms down until your hands rest lightly on your heart then continue to lower your arms out stretching them again as they reach towards the earth. Say aloud, may the unconditional love of Hanapacha 
of the celestial grace of the divine. Bless the highest expression of pure love on this planet through all systems, all beings, all creations. May my destiny and the love and destiny of all earth warriors manifest through unconditional love and divine grace for the greatest good. May K Pacha, the lives of all in the here and now, know the grace of divine love may manifest. May Uka Pacha, the deeper realms of existence, provide energy filtered through the purifying veil of unconditional love so as to serve the greatest good of all. So be it. Repeat the three steps with your arms again, finishing in a prayer position at your heart. You have completed your healing process. Charlie, you know the healing process don't stop. So let us say that you have started and are continuing an everlasting healing process that can overflow into the cups of others to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and with all that being said, child, if I do say so myself, I have milked this cow dry. And I am thoroughly appreciative for the exchange of fives. And if you're feeling synchronized, please do me a divine design and like, share, and subscribe. So that you can be one of the first to be back through these queenly quarters for the next time. And be sure to bless my comment section with your questions and conversations. And as always, I bid you all light love, healing, and liberation. Emphasis on liberation. Mwah.